Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Mona. Here I have a batch of pond that I decided to mix up myself after doing a little research on what pond actually is. A lot of you have heard of Lachusa pond. Apparently it's pretty popular and I know a lot of Hoya heads seem to like to pot up their plants in pond, so I wanted to look into it. Lachusa pond, I believe, is pretty expensive and usually out of stock, so I didn't even bother going that route to see if I can get some. I looked up what pond was actually made of and a couple of DIY YouTube videos that um, recommended making your own. So it's made up of the little green rocks, the zeolite, lava rock, the red, and I also have some pumice in there. Now I've used pumice before for aeration of uh, some of my potting um, mixes. Uh, that I kind of knew about, but I didn't really know too much about the others. And uh, the zeolite apparently helps with the pH level. Um, let's see, zeolite absorbs and holds on to water and nutrients and releases it when necessary or when the plant needs it. And uh, let's see, the lava rocks are porous and just good for drainage. So here we go. I also added some osmocote. So I just went to wash these little cuttings off. It's the Hoya Hushkiliana, which you can see here. Look at those cute little leaves. I hope this doesn't die. So that's what I got as far as roots go. Okay. How does that look? Can you see it? This thing seemed like it was barely rooted when I got it. So hopefully it'll do well in here. Let us pray. 
Here I have my Hoya Matil, who was in Perlite. More roots on this one than the other one. So I am going to rinse this off best as I can, and then we'll pot her up in a pot here that I hope she will grow into. Okay guys, so here we go. The end result, we have the Hoya Matilde and Hoya Hushkiliana Variegata all potted up. So hopefully they will survive and I will keep you posted. Thanks for watching and please like, comment and subscribe. I need subscribers. Thank you.